welcome back to the channel, boys. Happy Halloween, woo! Get him, babe. Okay guys, we're starting this video off by calling this whole operation Titan Trout, a three phase plan for the ultimate catch. Phase one is to recon and gather intel, mapping the monster, I like to call it. If you guys get on Google Maps, you can start by locating lakes, streams, and rivers where big trout like to hang out. Check out your local wildlife department, most of the time they're giving information on all kinds of trout that they're stocking in lakes and streams. You're gonna wanna look for deep pools, undercut banks or log jams, cold water inflows or oxygen rich streams. You're gonna wanna get out there and talk to your local fishermen. They have experience and they can offer insider knowledge on where big trout like to hang out in the fall. Trout tend to bulk up before winter, so location is everything. Water conditions, track water temps and flows. Trout are active when water temps are between 50 and 65 degrees. After a rain or a cold snap, they start feeding super aggressively. Phase two, gear and prep. Guys, target bigger fish, build the right rig. Your rod needs to be a six, six to seven foot medium light rod for casting and control. The line needs to be at least 10 to 12 pound thin and invisible, perfect for clear waters. Your go-to lures are gonna be, guys, you're trying to imitate bait fish, so anything that looks like your local bait fish that you see swimming around. Uh, jerk baits are awesome. Spinners with gold and silver blades on cloudy days. Phase three, uh, the ambush, you're gonna wanna go in early, go in stealthy. Arrive before, you know, the sun starts to come up and get out there early, early in the morning. Trout are more aggressive before sunrise. Stay low profile when you're trying to fish for them and stay as low as you can. I noticed if you're standing pretty tall, they'll, they'll kind of see where you're at. Um, the weather advantage, you know, you need to fish during cloudy days. Uh, the big trout like to come out from hiding uh, when there's less sun. And uh, just after the cold front hits, trout are known to feed harder. so. Preparation for tough conditions can get you a bigger bite. And then uh, sometimes, you know, we're out there and the fish won't bite for two to three hours and then you'll get one of your biggest bites ever. If they aren't biting, you're gonna need to change lures every 20 to 30 minutes and cover water more efficiently and focus on casting around drop-offs and points in the lake and twitching your baits near submerged logs. Okay, enough talking. We're about to get out there and catch two to three of the biggest trout we've caught all year cannot wait to share this with you guys it was an awesome day heck yeah okay guys so it's going pretty good out here right now but we got to get on some trout so we're going to start fishing pretty heavily i'm going to chuck the drone in the air get some drone shoddy just trying to get some footage you guys it's been slower but we're going to keep hanging in there and keep trying to get something uh in two weekends late rifle season opens up so we'll go back out for Brittany then and then a week after that no way Guys, Brittany just hooked up on a trout. It was huge. Dang it. Get him, babe. Oh, that's a trout. Holy crap. Oh, he's big. Dang, that was crazy, babe. He hit it on the shore edge. Dang, he's big. Yeah, he's pretty too. Wow. Get him in. Get him in, babe. I was falling out. Oh my god, babe, is that big? Holy shit, that's big. Holy shit, he's got so much fish in him. Look at how big his belly is. Holy crud. Yeah, it's right here. Here. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. So I cast it up. It hit the rock edge, like literally the shore edge. Guys, this is huge. This is a female and she is pregnant. Look at that belly. That is full of eggs and she's going to give birth. So she'll spawn. I'm going to get this fish back quick in the water, guys. Beautiful female. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Here, let's get her in. 
Hold still, Bertha. She is 22, babe. Yeah, 22 inch lunker. We're gonna get her a soft release in the neck, get her way out in the water real quick. Here we go. I love getting these released. Look at that trout. You gotta be kidding me, guys. Happy Halloween. Look at that pumpkin. Oh my God. Oh, that is a beautiful fish, guys. An absolute dream. Let's get her back in. Turn her straight up, hold her by the tail, and there she goes. Yeah, dude. What the heck? She's just sitting right out there, getting her energy. It wasn't but a two second fight right there. As I fish along the bank, the silence is heavy, and the only sounds are the quiet rustling leaves and the faint trickle of the water up against the boat. Each cast feels loaded with possibility, and you find yourself wondering, will this be the one? That elusive 23-inch mark, the goal that you've carried with you through seasons and hours spent on the water, now feels closer than ever, but just out of reach. Moments passed like drifting currents, snapshots of the past battles with trout flashing through your mind. You recall the ones that slipped off the line, the way they fought with that raw power only these wild fish possess. But with each cast, you feel the anticipation build, the memory of each near catch fueling your determination to keep going to finally surpass that personal best. Your lure lands in the water, and as it settles, you hold your breath. This could be the one, the fish you've been waiting for. Okay guys, what's going on? So I just caught a huge female. I'd say that's the biggest female brown trout I've ever caught. Hugest belly ever. Oh my gosh, so nice. <laughs> Big old prego full of eggs, I bet. So with that being said, it's 4.15. The sun sets at 5.45. So we have an hour and 25 minutes to just smash this big one mile stretch right now. And me and Brittany are gonna try to catch our biggest trout today. We're gonna do it today, guys. I can feel it. There are some big fish following in it. I had this one. I mean, she was like a quarter of the size of one of the big ones in there. I think there are 40 inch browns in here. Nobody believes me, but we're gonna catch one one day. I've been fishing here for six years. Still hasn't happened, so. I thought I was stuck. She was on the shore edge, like yeah, on it. Right on him. Honestly, you casted a foot in front of me. Yeah. If I was casted, I probably wouldn't have gone up, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, that was, well, thanks. That was awesome. She was very soft and tender and didn't really, wasn't really squirming. Or... That's a big one too, babe. <laughs> oh no! Babe, that was 10 pounds. Oh. Oh, you let it go. Here, get it back. Get it Give all the way. Luck. You taught me that. Get it all the way on the shore edge. I Rip it back. Brown, big brown, big brown. Why? How? How are we on browns right now and not getting hooked up? This is big. Oh, that's big. Nice. I don't even. Oh, thought he was bigger than that, but that's awesome. Dude, that one that popped out. Yeah. You see him popping my bait right there? Yeah. 
Another beautiful brown. Really nice looking fish. Very brown. The action was absolutely crazy. And then I got something on my line that got off and I couldn't believe the weight of it. Seeing this fish swim by, I was like, well, that could be one of the biggest fish I've ever caught. I didn't give up. I cast it out once more. And the most amazing thing happened. Cause they're like up on the water blowing up on sh Holy, that one was 10. One just jumped out. Corey, get me my bait caster, please. With the jerk bait on it. Hurry. I want to be able to switch between the two. And I know. Babe, that one was huge. And he's they're right up here breeding in front of us or something. This spot is hot, I'm telling you. This right here, this corner edge. Help, help, help. Help, help, help. What's up? Hold this. Oh, shit. Watch out. Oh. Did you hear my... I can barely control him, babe. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm gonna get my hand around this one. Holy crap, guys, look at the size of that guy. Yeah, give me the bump board. What is he? He's uh, 23. He's over the bump. Yeah! Oh. Big buck. Holy crap, big buck. Yeah! Can you face this way a little bit more? There you go, way better. Big buck. Thank you. Guys, big buck. Yes! He's a monster. 23. <laughs> Guys, that's pushing close to my PB, dude. 23 and a half or four for that other one this spring. This is the biggest fish of the fall. What a giant trout. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe it. He's absolutely stunning. Let's get him back in the water. Me too. They're all right here. Yeah, they are. Okay, dude. We're ready to go. We understand. We understand. You're huge. You're ready, babe? Yes. Oh, wow. He's just Where did he even down. go? Me too. They're all right here. Yeah, they are. Okay, dude. We're ready to go. We understand. We understand. You're huge. Get your... Ready, babe? Oh, wow. But I'm gonna definitely get this guy GoPro. Nothing. female we're, we're seeing these little brown and gray ones kind of jumping up they're really pretty they got all huge bellies they're getting ready to spawn just about 18 inches nice fish the 22 23 inches are huge compared to these oh my gosh so i'm happy to get that we're gonna get her back in Oop. she's got a lot of eggs in her belly Oop. and she's back sorry. she's got a lot of eggs in her belly Oop. and she's back sorry so that was quick holy crap nice i'm filming Rainbow? Yeah. No way. You got the trolling motor going or something? No. We're not anything going. We're just going. Nice. That's a really pretty trout. Right. Guys, to finish out the night, Brittany catches a beautiful trout. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stunning rainbow. We hadn't caught any. We're like, are there rainbow? 17 inch rainbow. <laughs> Absolutely stunning fish. He's so silver and beautiful. That's a, probably a female. Yeah, yeah nice job. Thank you. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Halloween to the Happy people. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. Get him in. Awesome send off. So, so fast. 
Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Fish Head Repeat. That was one of my best days this fall fishing for sure. I mean, just tons of hook sets. I had about seven good looks on some fish and then I caught three or four really nice fish. So I'm extremely happy about that. It was an amazing day out here. Fishing with my wife as usual, you know, it's Halloween almost. So happy Halloween to you all. Hope you guys have a spooky Halloween and it's a really good time. Uh, I was all catch and release fishing today just because we have freezers full still. So there's no need to take more out. So. We put the big ones back, boy. That's how you do it. And then maybe if they breed, we can get another big realm of beautiful pumpkins, man. They were beautiful. Oh my gosh. So guys, again, happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching Fish Edit Repeat. If you subscribe to the channel, if you're new, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, smash this like button right there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next couple of videos, boy. In the next video, guys, we're going to be working on the boat. We're going to switch this little part out here for 150 bucks and no more foot pedal. Just everything from the remote control. Pretty excited about that. Heck yeah, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Level low. Doing back there, Lassie. Look at her up. <laughs> Guys, look, pet seagulls over there having a good time. Right on. It's a beautiful day. I mean, this couldn't be more pretty. Pink clouds. Way deeper today. Yo, we're gonna get both sides of this. Woo! Get her out. Good job. Okay, to all my brothers out there, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Appreciate you watching to the end if you did. I appreciate all the time you guys spend watching my content. Cannot wait to get out and make this other video where we turn the foot control into a remote control for 150 bucks. Most of the trolling motors, they, you know, run right around $1,500. So we're going to save a lot of money doing this. It's going to be awesome. If you have a tracker boat, it'll be cool to watch. And then I can share the links. You guys can do it too. Heck yeah, guys. We'll see you on the next one.